We don't get too cold for that night tonight. Still 29 going to be our overnight low to put that into perspective. Normally we're somewhere near upper teens, low 20s, depending where you are through the region. So it's not awful out your door tonight or early tomorrow morning. Again, low pressure going to surge towards our region, forcing high pressure out, and that's where we get that big pattern change during those early morning hours tomorrow. So for your day tomorrow, temps 54 going to be our high in the springs. Then you jump down towards the Pueblo, Fremont County area, 61 degrees for Pueblo, 56 Canyon City. And these hazy icons actually are indicating that there could be some blowing dust across the region, especially out towards the plains. That's what we will keep an eye on. But temperatures, they cooperate. Look at this, 68 for Los Animas, 70 over in Lamar. So. It's not bad as far as temperatures go, but I do have to show you what we're going to be dealing with. Winds going to begin to pick up during the early morning hours by 8 a.m. for the San Luis Valley, 11 a.m. for the Pueblo County, Huerfano County area, and then down towards Los Animas and Baca County by about 8 a.m. All the way through the day, we're going to have gusty conditions again. Wind sustained 30 to 40 miles per hour, but what you got to be mindful of, these localized gusts. 65 miles per hour and I would not be surprised if we do push towards 70 for some of those gap prone areas, especially south of Pueblo along that I-25 corridor. So this is what we're going to be keeping a close eye on. Want to time it out for you right now, though. Winds really pick up between 8 to 11 a.m. for the day tomorrow. Again, it's not awful for the morning hours, but during the afternoon and early evening, we see the peak surge of these winds. The springs, you're gusty, but no damaging wind risk. You head down towards Pueblo, Wassenberg, Trinidad. That's where the potential for 60, 65 mile per hour gusts, and it continues out towards the plains. But between 5 and 8 o'clock for that day tomorrow, we see that threat really begin to push south and east. So that is why we did see these high wind alerts remain in effect for Los Animas and Baca County until about 1 a.m. Monday morning. So winds were still gusty for the start of that work week by Monday, but we start to gradually see improving conditions. So it's all associated with our low pressure system currently located over California right now. Quickly brings the general maybe three to six inches for the San Juans. Now what we keep an eye on is that I-25 corridor during those early afternoon hours, possibly a rumble of thunder going to be in that forecast. Don't think we see any snow accumulation, just a quick burst, maybe a thunderstorm again for I-25 before that risk uh, shifts out towards the plains. It all quickly wraps up thanks to that westerly flow clouds. They move out of the region as well. So it's nice by Monday, but those winds still do remain gusty. So we're gusting through that day on Tuesday with temperatures at or above average. This is what we keep an eye on by Wednesday. Our next system approaches the region again. It's quite a few days out. Colorado weather does not like to cooperate, but the high country, you could have the greatest chance of seeing the snow. The greatest uncertainty comes down towards the springs and 